Well guys, we are here for the brand new series on the channel, and as uh, some of you may have guessed already, it is of course StarCraft 2. Now, I will be 100% honest with you guys, and as you can see by the title, it is a, I believe I'm going to call it Stairway to Silver, is what we're beginning with. So, I am very, very new to this game. Um, I've played maybe, because I only bought the game about a week ago, so... But I've played the demo or the beta or whatever you want to call it from um, Memo. He gave me a beta beta copy of it quite a number of months back. But I've probably only played about maybe f oh, four matches. Um, and most of that was co-op. So he pretty much carried me through majority of that. But anyway, this match uh, is against AI because I am not 100% prepared for the first video to go up against real people. So anyway guys, this is going to be my progression to what I'm hoping to eventually get to is silver. Now, yeah, that could take like maybe four episodes. It could take maybe a hundred episodes. I don't know, but that's what we're going for at the moment. And I don't have a proper build order yet. I'm still very new to the game. So yeah, like I said before, I'm very new to the game. But if you are looking for pro strats, if you are looking for epic gameplay, that is not this series, unfortunately. I'm sorry, guys, but that is not this series. This is my progression, as I said, to silver. That's what I'm aiming for. That's what I'm hoping to eventually get to. But, um, yeah, I don't know how long that will take. So, anyway, we're going to continue watching this gameplay. Um, I should probably put the production tab up. But for now, um, I only have my Nexus and I have one gateway. Um, and I'm sort of just going for... Um, what do you call them? 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 Adepts, Stalkers, uh, Immortals, and a couple of Sentries. So that's what I'm aiming for in this build. It is versus Zerg, by the way. If you haven't already seen, you can see up there now. Um, I'm going to speed it up as well because, as you can see, it is a 19-minute match that could have been done in about 12 minutes. But that's okay because we're still learning. So, yeah, I'm sort of just scouting my... Well, I've already scouted my builder around. That's what I have been sort of, yeah, taught to do uh, in this game. And I'm sort of just warping stuff in as I can. Going to a second base as well, just because uh, I want to get, uh, what do you call it, enough minerals. I'm, I'm still getting used to the minerals and Vespine gas. I'm still getting used to all of the new names from Dawn of War instead. But anyway, we are going for two base at the moment, and I'm going to start building a few more gateways soon. But at this point, and I'll also let you guys know that I really don't have any idea what Zerg buildings are at the moment. So uh, when I scouted, it was mainly just so I get used to scouting for once I eventually figure the game out better. But for now, a couple of depths are out on the field. We've also got the Mothership Core out because I want to keep her in range of the pylons that I've got. Just in case the Zerg decide to attack in, which as you just saw, they did. Um... I'm also trying to wall off as best I can um, in a little while. I think I've, yeah, I've only walled off the main base. I haven't walled off the natural yet, but that's okay. I should get to that soon enough. Here comes the first Zerg attack. So, uh, yeah, I managed to hold that one off fairly well. I did lose a couple of units, but that's all right. Uh, what else have we got? So, yeah, I'm still warping stuff in. I've got enough sentry in there so that I can do the uh, shields. What do you call them? I forget what they're called. Is it just shield? Force field, yeah. And I don't know about the uh, guardian shields yet. I haven't, I hadn't used them in this match, so I, yeah, I really didn't know about how to use that one. I have seen them before, but I didn't know how to use them. Uh, he does have an overlord just hanging around, so we tried to take him out. I think we did take him out. But yeah, at the moment, I'm sort of just amassing units. Uh, you can probably easily see on the production tab anyway what buildings and units are coming out. And I'm just bringing these guys across the map now to start pushing in. I've also got a warp prism there, as you can see, just so I can sort of build stuff on the run. I do only have two gateways at the moment, so I want to start building more gateways uh, soon. And as you can see, yeah, I've started putting down another four, I believe. Um, I am getting attacked back at home, so I did the mass recall from the Mothership Core. I was also told by Memo as well afterwards, because he helped me while I'm, he watched this replay back as well, and he said to leave the Mother Core at Mothership. Uh, the Mother... what's it called? Mothership Core, yeah. Told me to leave that one at home for specifically for attacks like that, so the pylon overcharges will do enough damage. But for now, I've just got these couple of shields out to block them off. Um, though, that way I don't lose any units, I can still attack them. Still uh, warping stuff in at the back so that I can continue to keep my army numbers up. Because obviously you don't want to lose too many units. 
because they will end up pushing back in. You have nothing left to push in with. Um, I am turning all of those gateways into uh, warp gates so that uh, so that yeah I can continue to warp more units in at one time. Um, I did unfortunately lose the mothership core and I believe the warp prism just here. But yeah, I have another warp prism out and I have another mothership core out. I should do soon enough. Yeah, there she is. We've got the mothership core out as well, which means that we can start bringing her back in because she will obviously do a little bit more health and just, I mean, not a bit more health, a bit more damage. And if I need, um, yeah, if I need to do that mass recall, then I can at this point. So, okay, I'm gonna pause it just here. So at this point, I'm sort of just amassing units because, as I said, I'm new to the game. I don't really know what he has at this point. But I was informed that, um, yeah, obviously he wouldn't have that many units at this point. He does have you know, a couple of Zerglings and whatever, but there's no way they're going to beat me. So I could have actually pushed in at this point because even though he does have a couple of bases, there's nothing in them that could support an attack. Um, going back to my camera... So yeah, at this point, I'm pretty much ready to start pushing in with everything I've got. Um, and because it is an AI match, <clears throat> because it is an AI match, of course, it's going to take that little bit longer because he's going to take more bases and he's just not going to uh, click the GG button until he's lost basically everything he can. So yeah, just a yeah random little match for you guys today. But uh, from now onwards, I will probably be going into ranked matches where, yeah, um, I can actually versus real people and try and use builds that may work, may not work. I don't know yet. Um, obviously, not every match will be won. I will be surprised if even any matches were won just yet. But that's okay because that's what I want to do for this series is I want to show my progression. I don't want to show me doing well in every match because obviously that is not the case by a long shot. So I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Make sure to stick around for the rest of the videos. And don't forget, Dawn of War will still be coming out on Mondays and Wednesdays if that is what you prefer to watch. Uh, StarCraft will only be on Fridays at the moment. And yeah, if you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe because it all help, does help continuing to grow this channel. And thank you very much for watching, guys. I will see you next time.